Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you a band drill that I often share with players to help them to load and improve their movement around the lead hip while at the same time building awareness of how the movement of the upper body and the arms can help them facilitate the impact position that they're looking for. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're looking at another band exercise. For those of you who do watch the channel regularly, you'll find that I often share band exercises and that's because I love them as they are often a good opportunity for players to build awareness of movement that is helpful for their movement in their golf swing in a way that is often away from the practice area, away from the golf course. They can then take it to the course and use the band on the practice set if they wish to or as part of their warm-up. So bands, just a big fan of them. Today's exercise I often use regularly with players to help them to build awareness of just good positioning through the upper body. If you're a player that wants to have more space through the neck, um, just more space, feeling like your arms get longer through the shot, this is a great exercise for that as well, other than just the control around the lead hip. So an exercise here, another one that I was shared, uh, or was shared to me by Dr. Mark Ball some time ago. It's actually part of the warm up that I give all the players to do if they, they want to warm up or they want certain movements to help them to move better in their swing. So I've got a piece of rubber tubing here. Um, easy to get hold of these online, easy to just buy this kind of tubing, not uh, very expensive, very inexpensive. As you can see, it's very pliable there. I'm not looking for something that's overly um, tight. We don't, we're not looking to get a workout in, we're looking to build awareness of movement. So I'm gonna take the band, I'm just gonna put it behind me here. Now what I do with the band is I actually get it, so it's, it's, it's not tight, but I'm holding it just to the side of my body, and then I push out to have just a nice amount of tension here. And already there, I'm getting a nice sense of a lot of space for the neck. Really helps with that long spine feel that I, encourage players to have just from a good standing posture to take into their golf swing. So from down the line, definitely not extending too much there, making sure that the rib cage is down, pelvis is in a good position. Like I said, lots of space for the neck there. And I'm pushing out forearms, pointing up to the sky. As you may notice, I'm holding this band in just my last three fingers on each hand, more to encourage the activation and use of the muscles on my on my back here around the scap area rather than inside this little area here than the pec if i was to use more thumb and uh, index finger there so we're using the last three fingers we're pushing out almost pointing the index fingers there and then from there i'm going to go into a setup position here and you can even just like kind of make a few pulses here a few little circles back just to really highlight the muscles that we'd want to use through like our, our shoulder scap area. And it kind of, at the same time, you really feel it through the core if you're maintaining that long spine feel. So into this position here, we're gonna step back with the trail foot and all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn into the lead hip. So really feel a nice amount of pressure through my lead heel. So if you're a player that often gets up on your lead toe, great exercise for that. Great sense here of how moving into impact, the trail arm should be really extended as you're moving into that lead hip. And from this position here, really feel like they just have so much space. So I always like it when you're doing these exercises, if you get into a similar relationship from a standing point uh, with the ball as you would if you were hitting a shot. So into my setup here, getting the ball position where I'd want it, making sure my forearms are points out. And this is why you don't want a band that's too tight because it, it really restricts the amount that you can use it obviously because you can't do it for too long so i'm holding this position here and i'm just kind of little rotation back not much and then moving into impact there the great thing with the ball there is i can now be aware of where my head is in relation to the ball as well as doing this movement here and in doing this movement here as well i mean just doing it over time being becoming aware of the hand path as it moves into impact um, being aware of how open my body is, being aware of my connection with my trail heel to the ground as I move into that lead hip, and then from there we can move up and through. So I definitely felt that firing all through up here. Love the space that I had around my neck. And at first, after doing that, you might want to just 
kind of let your body just kind of feel it for a minute. <laughs> yeah, because if, you, if, if you've done a lot of reps like I just did then, you, I probably wouldn't encourage to do it for as long as I was doing that the explanation. More just kind of pick it up, couple of reps, and then you're ready to go. But already now here, if I go into my setup, I definitely feel the muscles that I would want to be using here in my swing. So again, I would hit some, go back and forth, Let's hit one here, see if I can, I mean, in doing it, I just feel like I'm, yeah, it's crazy the amount of space that I feel that I'm gonna create here if I'm able to kind of translate that movement with the band into the shot. I mean, that was pretty nice there. I haven't warmed up, so I would just pitch a few doing that, but really, yeah, just going through the movement there, I'm now much clearer, and it's in a way that I'm not having to be too thoughtful. It's uh, more of a feel, and that's another reason why I like the bands.